is because we have allowed people, the enemy of course, and even to some degree our own mind, take away from what God has said who we are. The Bible says that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are Behold, all things. So there is a problem after you give your life to Christ and you still have the old mind. You still have the old heart. You still have the old way of doing things. And it's because we are not allowing the word of God to transform us. We're still holding on to the things of old. One reason why is because it's comfortable. And we don't like change because it brings uncertainty. But God is saying that he, you cannot go in and possess and do and be the person, the woman of God that he has called you to be when you are still suffering from identity theft. The Bible says that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. And he has showed up and he has taken a front seat in the house of God to keep stealing Keep raping, keep destroying, keep pulling down the things that God is putting inside his people. And one thing God wants to address to the women is that he has made you, he has created you in his own image. And that is something that we suffer with a lot in the body of Christ. Women, we still have a problem with low self-esteem. But it does not matter if nobody calls your name. It does not matter if nobody recognizes who you are. All you need to know is that God has saved you. He has delivered you. He has set you free. He has given you purpose and a desire to serve him. Identity theft breaks you of who you are. You have no confidence. You lack courage. And you lack self-esteem. And in the Bible, in Matthew 16, you don't even have to go there, 16, 19, he talks about giving you some keys. And one thing in the body of Christ, we have given up our keys. Some of us have even thrown the keys away. And that's another problem. And that begins, that also can go aside with identity theft. You cannot throw away what God has given you. It is for a reason and a season of why he has given you what he has given you and is causing you to be effective. But when you give away your keys, because the Bible said that I give you the keys to the kingdom. Oh, my God. So why do we have so much lack in the body of Christ when God is saying that he has given us the keys to the kingdom? And your keys are your authority. Your keys are to know who you are. Christ, so that when the enemy shows up and tells you you ain't nothing, you ain't gonna never be nothing, your mama wasn't nothing, your daddy come from nothing, you begin to stand up and say, but I am the child of God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And because we don't open up our mouth and begin to declare and decree the word of God, we go through another thing of identity theft. And so now we're running to the church and we're reporting to the pastor we've been robbed. We've been robbed. How do I know that? Because we keep coming to the same prayer line. We keep, oh. oh. Yeah. We keep running to every fly-by-night prophet that comes into our city. And it's because we're suffering with identity Christ. Everything God has for you is in the house. Every word that you need for your life to sustain you is in the house that God has planted you. But if you're not connected to the body of Christ, you're not connected to your men and your women of God, you're going to continue to suffer identity theft. You're going to continue to suffer theft. You're going to continue to suffer defeat. You're going to continue to suffer nervous breakdowns. You're going to continue to suffer low self-esteem. You're going to continue to suffer a walk around the wilderness because you're not getting up in your mind and making up in your mind who God says that you are. I gave you the keys to the kingdom. My God, and where are all the women that are going to stand up and take a fight in their head and tell the devil, you will not speak another word in my life. I am who God says that I am. We have to stop being such weak vessels just because the Bible says that we are the 
weaker vessel. We don't have to be weak when it comes to our fight against the adversary, which is the devil. It is not against each other. And I can't stand to be around women that just always want to be so catty My God. and so messy. You can't never compliment one another. You can't never exhort one another. You can't ever encourage one another. You're looking at each other up and down and funny and crazy. Oh, she thinks she all that. Well, maybe she is all of that. We got to stop tearing down each other's self-esteem and stop allowing the devil to use us to defeat our sisters in the Lord. When we should come along the side of her and tell her, you know, I see you struggling. I see your marriage is going through. I'm praying for you. But instead, we began to talk about the thing and run it down and give the enemy even more weapons to use against her. So now she feels like she's alienated. And don't nobody love her at the church. Don't nobody understand her at the church. So then she don't even come to church. Identity theft. Thank you, Jesus. Because as God was speaking to me, when I was on my knees, he said, I've given you my spirit. I've given you my spirit, and I've given you the spirit to go and set the captive free. And we got a problem in the church. Identity theft, and I want to keep reiterating that. You've got to know that you've been robbed. And tonight we're gonna we're gonna put in a report that we have been robbed. Amen. Oh my God, I felt that in the Holy Ghost. We're gonna put in a report tonight. We call it nine one one. We call in heaven tonight and tell Jesus we've been robbed. What have I been robbed of? I've been robbed of my self esteem. I've been robbed of my courage. I've been robbed of my happiness. I've been robbed of my joy. I've been robbed of my peace. Where are the women that have been robbed? Where are the women in here that have been robbed? Where are the women in here that have been robbed? I know I'm not the only one. Where are the women in here that are suffering from doubt? Where are the women in here that are suffering from a little bit of fear? Where are the women at? I know I did not miss God. If you don't get out of your shame, if you don't get out of your self and admit I've been robbed, and I come to put a report on tonight, I come to make a claim tonight, you won't. Jesus. 
joy of the Lord is your strength. You need your courage. You need your strength. It's not about the house and the car because that's going to come. What God is saying that he wants to restore to you tonight is your identity. That you are the righteousness of God. You are not the tail. You are the head. You are not Check. 